John Lydon, the punk icon known as Johnny Rotten, has always been portrayed as a vicious person, devoid of dignity or kindness. But that couldn't be further from the truth. Here, we will see a series of interactions where he not only demonstrates his kind-heartedness, but also his humility. In a surprising turn of events, John Lydon finds himself before Judge Judy. When he inadvertently interrupts her, he quickly apologizes, showcasing a humility that even impresses the judge. <laughs> Don't be disrespectful, sir. I haven't disrespected you, have I? No, you haven't. Okay. So let's not be disrespectful Apologies. in my home. Okay. During a casual meal in Australia, a fan approaches John for an autograph. Despite being mid-bite, John invites her to sit, chatting with her for over 10 minutes, leaving her thoroughly impressed. Yours I thought for a like... second, I thought, oh, now it's the sun. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm an accountant on the Gold Coast, and my husband oh, yeah. does. Hello, how are you? Yeah. Do you want to pick a pocket or two? <laughs> Not likely, no. <laughs> I thought it was Pete Andre's agent. Oh, no, no, I know you good on you for walking out. Right. His name's Hamish, so if you could say to Hamish, and a little message, but he's followed you since he's been 17. We've Hello, got Amish. All, yeah, all your videos, all your CDs, and you've just, yeah, been his inspiration. How do you recognise me? Because you actually don't look a day over 25. Oh, <laughs> that was the right thing to say. Oh, was that the right thing to say? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh I'm a God. sucker oh. for compliments oh. like that. A day over 25 inch <laughs> neck. <laughs> that's, uh, that's awesome. There we but, go. So I hope you have a great time here. A Deborah, true, the snapper. Yeah, a true star and friend. Oh. <laughs> Always. Oh. Oh. There You're you a honey. You're an absolute honey. Bingo. Oh, I'll put kiss, kiss, kiss. That's <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, it'll be hard done by to wave that one to his mates. <laughs> yeah, look, look, I got kissy, kissy from Rotten. <laughs> well, did you catch anything? Yeah, a snapper. At a meet and greet in Scotland, a young lad presents John with a bottle of homemade whiskey. The sincerity of the gesture touches John deeply and he expresses genuine delight. Upon learning of Keith Flint's passing, John doesn't shy away from expressing his emotions. His heartfelt reaction highlights his humanity beyond the punk persona. Why do so many people in this industry be left alone? Johnny. Do you we gotta go. Come to me. I'm Johnny. And is we not looking after each other anymore. Apparently and we should, us. and everybody believes punk is, is a thing. Not with Any other of you out there that need help, come talk to me. Right? Come talk to me. We do not need to die. Walking the streets of London, he is a familiar face. Despite his fame, he remains grounded, visibly at home among the city's crowds. It's your image sometimes. What image? I never thought I had one. Well, what do you think? I change from day to day. Well, now we have a following. Every time you appeared on stage, the music press rose up. For a fan approaches John for an autograph. Not only does John oblige, but he also engages in conversation, even posing for a photo with the fan, embodying kindness despite his reputation. Can I take a picture of you holding it? <laughs> That's perfect. Thank you so much. There we go. Isn't that beautiful, though? Yeah. After a daring swim with sharks for a TV show, Mr. Lydon expresses gratitude to the crew, revealing a softer side beneath his rebellious exterior. Very nice. It was a fake promise to myself. You know, I always had to back out. And now I like, through, through, thank you, Channel 5, you gave me the chance to do this proper. 
I have no qualms about it. It's one of the best things I've ever done. Despite decades of performing, John Lydon still sings Sex Pistols songs at random pubs. His dedication to the music and fans remains unwavering. In interviews, John fondly reminisces about his 49-year marriage and late wife, showcasing a deep love and respect that transcends his public image. I end up fucking crying, you know. It becomes yeah, going, high melodrama. Yeah, you're going, doing, you're sitting I can't asleep. help it. You know I'm going to cry. It's, it's about me lovely baby, isn't it? You know? John Lydon quietly engages in numerous charitable acts, never seeking recognition for his contributions, exemplifying generosity behind the scenes. Stuff away to charities. And, you know, I don't take no credit for that, but I'm not going to hoard it and then make a load of money on it. You know, I'm sorry, but that goes to orphans and kids that count, yeah, right? Because you actually do... And not show business. But this is the bizarre thing. I know you didn't particularly want to mention this, but you actually do do a lot of work for kids and stuff, don't you, in LA? Yeah, but... Keep quiet. John interacts kindly with women of all ages, showing respect and appreciation, debunking stereotypes associated with his punk persona. The apple. Oh my God, hell yeah. You want, yeah. Your, you want your apple? Yes, you are the apple of my eye. Should I be so lucky? Oh, oh nuggies. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny always gets on with the old ladies. <laughs> Less of the old. Well, I'm a bit of an old lady. Despite past conflicts, John maintains goodwill towards ex-bandmates, demonstrating loyalty and forgiveness even in the face of betrayal. And now you, you wanted to introduce I us, did so want God to do bless you. Yeah, See, he's not bad, this fella. Yeah, no, it's all right. Hello, Stephen. And these right. two know each other. Yeah. At a PL concert, John fulfills a fan's dying wish by scattering their ashes on stage, illustrating his unwavering dedication and loyalty to his fans. His sister has asked me to spread them on the stage tonight, and I think that's one of the nicest, most humblest things. This, uh, this is the steward, a fan, whose request is his ashes be spread on the pill stage. Stuart, we love you! 